I know the day, I know the day. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we are watching the 100. This is episode 7 of the second season. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying it so far. And if you'd like to watch today's full episode, it is available for free in the description below. Just click on the link, put the password in, and enjoy. So it's getting really good, honestly. I'm very invested into this show. Uh, I I'm getting like the Vampire Diary feels and the, the Team Wolf again. Just in it for the long haul. Do you know what I mean? We've had it with the originals, Vampire Diaries, and the Team Wolves on the channel. And this is the next one. I'm fully hooked on it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just want to come home i want to watch the next one i want to watch the next one i actually just like when i'm in the zone i just don't want to turn it off do you know what i mean i have to because obviously i've got to go to work and do my other stuff but like i'm always like oh man i wish i had that extra time to watch the next episode because it's always leaving me you know questioning and excited and i really want to see what's going on mate last episode how clever was it we had jaha and we had kane he was locked up in the cell wasn't there they threw a knife in he said look mate one of your guys come and attacked us the there was a mass slaughter like loads of us died so Somebody's got to pay. One of you two are going to die today by the hand of the other. And then a girl, she was left in there. She looked like she was, I don't know, a servant or something. Looks like she was just left there. They said, call us, you know, when the deed is done. Kane, uh, you know, after a long while, he was like, look, mate, you know, if we really truly want to show uh, peace, we need to show them, you know, that we're as strong as they are and one of us does have to die. I want you to kill me and he give the knife to Jahan. Now, he was saying no, uh, but then obviously Kane took it and cut himself. Jahan ran over, he asked the girl to help. He got some, like, bandages, wrapped it around, um, you know, Kane's arm and then he grabbed her, he put the knife to her neck. Obviously, said, they come in. The girl ended up flipping him, put the knife to his neck and he was like, um, you know, she's the commander, <laughs> mate. It was a good twist. It was very, very good. She stood up. I've, I've heard all I needed to hear. Your intentions are pure. You don't actually want to come and hurt us. But you, uh, you know, you've done something to us, so we need to retaliate to you. Uh, you they let Jaha go. He's ended up going back to the camp and said, look, mate, we've got two days. Are they coming? It's either run or be killed. So that's exciting. We've had Mount Weather. Do you know what I mean? Like, inside there we've seen a successful treatment of maya now she's actually come over and she's talking to uh, jasper and she's talking to monta and she's pretending that all is good but she's holding up signs saying they're listening they're watching come this way do you know what i mean crazy she's took him into another room they've looked underneath you know um not through the blinds and seen hundreds of the the grounders locked in cages and she's saying that she's scared that you know the next people going to be in them cages are going to be these guys she's actually made a connection with them and to be honest i've made a connection with her i actually do like her i want her to stay alive and join the crew and then to finish it off obviously we've got the radio communication that they've been trying to go after they've gone near mount weather because you want to actually take it down but they've managed to infiltrate their intercom system and they can listen to it and they know the plans and what they're doing and it turns out that the gas that's actually infecting everybody do you know what i mean that got adam that's got a couple of other people it's actually a weapon that they're actually setting off themselves and that's crazy as well like literally so much is going on it's exciting i can't wait for today's episode if you guys do enjoy it please smash like really helps out subscribe if you're new and as as always, let's jump into today's episode. A new person straight away, mate. This is what we like to see. Oh, they know my name. Keen. Oh, they threw her outside after testing her. Oh, mad, mate. Savages. She's in pain. I'm bringing her in. Do you trust her not to talk? There are dead ends and blind alleys on the path to every breakthrough. Sacrifice for the greater good. Oh, she's dead. There has to be another way. You think we should just give up? This is not our home. Because Kane went looking for peace, he's given us a chance to move on without bloodshed to live so that we can come back and fight another day. I have word from their chancellor could go a long way. Of course. Dr. Griffin is still in command. I'm not ready to march our people into the desert, Thelonious. We'll talk to them together. We have a difficult decision to make. Thankfully, Chancellor Jaha has found his way back to us. You need to pack whatever you can carry. We may need to leave at a moment's notice. If we leave here, what happens to our people in Mount Weather? That is a very difficult decision to make. But the time has come for each and every one of us to ask. Is this how the story of our people ends? This is my fault. The grounders are attacking because of me. The grounders are attacking because that's what they do. It technically is his fault, though. See, right, just before we go into this, Jaha should be in charge. No, There's no ifs, buts, and maybes about it, you know? Uh, like, he is the person that 
ruled them up in the ark and he sacrificed his life so every single one of them could live do you know what i mean so first of all he should get his crown back or whatever you want to call it just for that sacrifice that he was willing to put his life on the line so that everybody else could live so that warrants him getting his his you know leadership back also like she is not the true leader and neither's kane and uh, do you know what i'm saying like for example if somebody if if the pri if the president of like the united states becomes ill or they think that he's dead you know like an attack had happened do you know what i'm saying like somebody bombs somewhere something goes to lose communication they think oh man the president's dead what they'll do is they'll swear in the you know the vice president and they'll become the president and then they'll act and then once it becomes apparent that the actual president is alive and they can get communication and he's back then the person that was sworn in won't say oh hang on actually i'm the person that's in charge now not you you know what i mean like let's do a vote it doesn't happen like that it literally makes no sense she's like getting too to be honest i've got to say i actually i wouldn't say i dislike abby but i don't like her like she's just a she's a, she's a straight line for me i.e like you know these people in the show when they're just in the show and they have no effect on me in terms of like sometimes you do something decent sometimes you do something I, I, I don't like and i don't really have an opinion so so to speak i like Jaha. i actually think he's decent kane do you know what i mean again he's an up and down one where her to me i don't know she's more annoying than likable in my personal opinion anyway like i said my opinions will change all of the time i judge them per episode and and each season characters change if you look at finn this one but you know she's never done anything that excites me and I, i've never fully got behind her even the clark thing you know i wanted to get down and see clark but i, 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 I didn't care if she didn't <laughs> do you know what i mean i actually wanted jazz to get down more because of his sacrifice oh shit mate that shit me up man. i forgot that he was captured I totally forgot this storyline i had no idea they were creating them yeah, I said, I told you, man, they created them. What are they doing to our friends? I know this sucks, but as long as it seems like we're cooperating, we're buying ourselves time. What if she didn't make it out? That is and true. Coming for us. That is a possibility. We're doing exactly what they want us to do. So let's be criminals. You know what I mean? Steal information. What happened to his leg? I shot him. Can you shine the light on his neck? Needle marks. Black like a zombie. Well done, Octavia. The guard is leading the evacuation. If you stay, you'll be disobeying orders. The other parents with missing kids aren't going anywhere either. I can protect them. You'll get killed if you stay on your own. I'd be ordering you to die. Yeah. Report to Major Byrne. The Granders attack at dawn. If treatments using their blood give us temporary immunity, how do we extend that immunity for our bone marrow? And what would happen to the donors? Every one of the 47 would die. If your theory is correct. I'll worry about the science. What we're saying there, like, and you know, morally, it is the wrong thing. I fully acknowledge that. Like, and as as a viewer watching the show, I think, what a bitch. Do you know what I'm saying? But, like, me in her position, I'd be like, yeah, just fucking kill them all, mate. Literally, kill them and get me out on, on, on the ground. Like, literally, I would do. Do you know what I mean? And, like, that's proper selfish, mate. Well selfish, it is. But I just think of The Walking Dead, mate. Do you, like, you ever seen it? So, like, you know, you've got Rick and his crew, they're chilling, and then they'll encounter another, another group of uh, humans. And you don't trust them. Like, literally, straight away. So, as you see them, you ought to kill them. You don't even know them. They could be the friendliest people in the world. But now, they're your enemy. Do you know what I mean? Like, you want to kill them to get their supplies so you can live. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to bring anybody in. And if you do bring them in, you want to use them so that you can get a gain out of it. Like, in a general standard world like we live in now, like the Earth, then doing that is well bad. But, like, here... It's literally, I'll always go to it. It's like a dog eat dog world. It's, you have to be so selfish to survive. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, so, like, if I was in their position, I would probably be like her, just kill them so that I could survive. Now, obviously, as a viewer, I think she's a proper bitch and I, I want her to die. We have to stop the bleeding and get the bullet out. Oh, oh he's decent, this guy. Our scouts have already arrived. The commander is true to her word. If you do not leave, Die. Can I save Lincoln? That was like... <laughs> Bellamy, don't. He's Lincoln's 
friend and their healer. He looks mad at him. Oh, his fight is over. No way. It's what they say before death. Trying to kill him. That was good, that. Well played, Clark. Jack, and he have to flatline? Die. And then when he comes back, he's not the same guy as he was when he died. What is it? I know how to stop the attack. He won't be the same. Hey, everybody can just be redeemed. Mm, true. Like unsavable. And so are you. He have little faith. That's my, <laughs> That's my boy. Monty's good with computers. Miller's a thief. I'm the mastermind. <laughs> Said we wouldn't amount to anything. His password is I'm the captain now. The biggest threat they face is from the Reapers. I think we may be able to eliminate that threat for them once and for all. There's loads of him. Yeah, yeah he didn't leave in time. Oh, there's loads of them, mate. We have two hours till dawn. Let me talk to the commander. She was Anya's second. Maybe she'll listen. Clark, you said that Lincoln is going through withdrawal. The detox alone could kill him. That's where you come in. And if I can't save him, that's not an option. <laughs> if you do not give the order to begin the exodus, you are killing us all. I can't give that order. The order. <laughs> I'm the captain. That's what he's gonna say. No. I am the elected. You told you. Are you through yet? I am believing Dr. Griffin for command. They actually want to stay. Rest Jaham. Put Chancellor Jaha in the stockade. We're just throwing it all away. Why? Because I have faith too. If you're wrong, all of us are gonna die. See, you see what I mean? Where I'm saying like I'm not a person that like for, uh, like hates a character and like. So before I was saying she's a bit annoying, Abby. Now I'm on Abby's side. Do you know what I mean? I, I go by scene by scene, and I actually do think that in this play is the right play. They left it too late. You can't leave now. Like, where are they going to go that they're not going to follow them? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, they give you a time frame and you didn't leave in time. The whole point of a time frame is that you disappear somewhere that they can't find you. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're not just going to start retreating away and they're just going to sit there and just watch you just walk off into the wilderness. Do you know what I mean? They'll just chase you and then they'll get you again. So, like, it's too late. This is the only way. And I actually do feel like if they can actually prove that they can bring somebody back from being a, you know, being a reaper back to a grounder, then that's massive. They would never seen that before. The guy was obviously, like, shook when he's seen Lincoln obviously get brought back to life after he died. And, um, you know, this is new to them and it's going to be a massive benefit. Do you know what I mean? Like all of their loved ones and friends and family members that have been lost, there's a chance that it could give them hope that they can come back. And it is something that, you know, what was he saying last season? The enemy of my enemy is my enemy or something They're basically like we can be enemies but we've got mount weather and we both hate them and we both want to go in and we both want to do them in do you know what i mean so let's team up as a unit and go in and take out the bigger common enemy and then we can go back to hating each other later do you know what i'm saying so like i think this is the best play um I actually want Jahath to end up being back in charge at the end of the season. And I'm a big fan as well, regardless of it's a character that I really like, that they're not always right. Everything that Abby's tried to do so far up until this point from season one or two, it's always gone her way successfully. Literally, it has pretty gone successfully. I always say she's a cat with nine lives. One time, I wanted to either stand the ground and after people die, do you know what I mean? Or I want them to go and speak to the grounders and I want a couple of them to get killed. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I want her to make a decision that goes wrong, but... Not not on this one. I actually want this one to go alright because I feel like this is the best play to actually do. I got some. Me too. Damn. Is it you got the blueprints? They're alive. You're the one who burned three hundred of my warriors alive. He looks so good. You're the one who sent them there to kill us. Hundreds of your people are trapped inside Mount Weather. Kept in cages. Their blood is used as medicine. No one escapes the mountain. I did. With Danya. Anna. We fought our way out together. Another lie. That's good. She took her hair like they do. She told me you were her second. Did she die well? By my side. The mountain men are turning your people into reapers. I can turn them back. Impossible. Head I step, you gotta go down. Tay I. Show me, Link. 
How do they know Lincoln was one, though? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, the only way that they would know that's true is if the healer confirms it, which he probably would do, because Lincoln's his friend, also he's the healer, and, you know, his intention was technically to, to kill Lincoln. Not purposely, because he dislikes him, because he's seen him as a reaper and his pain was suffering, do you know what I mean? And he was like, you know... You've, you, your fight's over and he was going to kill him and then he's seen it successfully happen so his word for it can be but like if i was her i'd be like look mate i'll go capture one and then you do it to this guy i want to physically see somebody change from being that crazy dude to being back to normal do you know what i'm saying and what did clark pick up is it that they have to die and then she has to re revive them because if that is the case then obviously that's risky as well because it's not going to work every time what are we doing out here I told you to trust me. It's okay. You had the same treatment I did. It's a ballsy play, this, because he's going to see it works and he might actually go ahead with it. You always told me that the surface was our true home. What will it take to stay? Literally, it, it worked perfectly. All of them. We are the keepers of history. What we've done to the outsiders has corrupted our legacy. I can't go down that road any further. It is very interesting. He did not go how I thought it was going to go. And I respect him a bit more. Pupils are unresponsive. Tie up his arm. Tight as you can. Pull his chin down to open his airway. This way. <laughs> She's seeing all the people dead on the floor, isn't it? He's going. No, it's not. No, Listen. man. You're wrong. Well, their healer can vouch all like, that. It did work a bit. Oh, it's bad, man. Bad timing. <laughs> this could be a standoff again, man. Oh, see, this is a tough one here. The only way we could do it is, like I was just saying a minute ago, the healer has to vouch that he's just witnessed them did at one point bring him back and they've shown him a method that they've never seen before. Do you know what I mean? And he actually thinks that it could happen again. Do you know what? It could be successful. And, like, I do think that the best way is they need to get another Reaper and try it, but I don't know, man. I think it's going to be interesting. Oh, she's electric. Oh, she's shocking him. Oh, that was smart. Hey, see, he's got his memory back. That was good. That was well better than I thought it was going to go. Alpha's on the ground. Maybe other stations are too. Harper didn't show for breakfast. You guys seen her? Not since Dante's office. Please. The hip has the largest marrow pocket. I just want to go home. All the way. So do we. I just want to go Imagine your bone getting drilled into, mate. Lincoln's recovery was impressive. <laughs> you may have your troops. I just need one thing in return. Deliver me the one you call Finn. Oh. Our truce begins with his death. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. Literally, that is a tougher, isn't it? Now, casualties in war. You know what I mean? Every war has a few casualties. Whether or not it's your friend or your loved one, sometimes you gotta sacrifice one for the masses. Yeah, I knew that, mate, when he was staying on the Ark. Do you know what I'm saying? Whether it's a, a volunteer as tribute, Katniss Everdeen, or whether you get thrown to the wolves, sometimes you gotta make those tough decisions, haven't you? Nah, I don't think Finn's gonna die. I don't think that he's obviously gonna be handed over and killed. Uh, to be honest, I think he should be handed over. Like, these people, yeah, um, you know, on the ground, they've uh, somehow survived with the luck of Clark, you know, having the faith, pretty much. Uh, and now, obviously, they've got a choice. Finn has killed a lot of their people. And, like, you can't actually... I mean, like, you can say that you're handing somebody over to die, which is totally true. And morally, you know what I mean? It's tough to deal with. But, like, in terms of, like, a peace offering, it, it's kind of understandable. First of all, I'd be like, look, give me, give me Cain. Do you know what I mean, then? You know, if we're giving you Finn, you give me Kane back because you've still got him. Do you know what I mean? Like, let's not forget. So, again, that's going to be interesting. Like, Clark was saying to him early on in the episode that, you know, not uh, nobody's, like, beyond repair. I, yes, okay, he's going to come back and he'll have battle scars and he'll probably have some mental torture as well. You know, the stuff that he's done, he, he's going to have to try and deal with it. But we're not going to give up on him. Do you know what I mean? Everybody re can redeem themselves and... That can happen to you as well, Finn. Do you know what I mean? So, like, probably 
he probably would offer himself over you know if he if he finds out that's what it takes to save everybody because of how bad that he's currently feeling um but i actually do hope that he gets handed over do you know what i mean like i don't want him to die but i want him to get handed over like i said everything that they seem to do right now is always, is always successful and i'm all for successful not successful successful not successful do you know what i mean let's go into mark weather to try and save jasper and monty yeah when that happens i want a few people to die i actually do i want it to be people as well for example wix i'm not saying that like he's a great character but like he's kind of somebody a little bit that we've kind of got got to know and if he died I care that more about he's died than a random person. I'm hoping that makes sense. Like, like when people die, I don't want it to be just absolute randos. It is somebody that we get a tiny bit of connection with. For example, you know, if Kane got killed or Jaha or Abbe, do you know what I mean? Or, or like, um, one of the people that are inside of, like, is he called uh, Miller? I'd love him to be running to his dad. To, you know, yeah, dad, I'm free and free and gets killed. Like, savage. But, like, I'd be like, whoa, didn't expect it. What are them ones? You know what I mean? Like, one of them unexpected things where, like, yes, they did manage to escape from Mount Weather, but they did get a couple of casualties. Didn't all go plain sailing. You know what I mean? Everything so far is kind of going their way. We get close, yes, we've got their radios. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, we're about to run away from uh, the grounders. Oh, Clark's managed to come up with a plan, and obviously now, now we're getting peace. You know what I mean? Like, everything's going smooth sailing, and... I just need the little kink, you know what I mean? The little ripple that's going to cause a little bit of chaos and a bit of, like, madness. Can't wait for that to come. It's going to be interesting. But again, I did say that that was the right play. I know I'm firmly behind Jaha over Abbey, but, like, here, I was behind him leaving at the start. But then when, as soon as it became apparent that he wasn't getting away in time, it was time to stay, and the best play was Abby's play. Well, Clark's. And that was her to go and do that offering, which she done, and it did actually work out. Okay, and that's going to wrap up today's episode. Really enjoyed it. Really glad that, um, you know, Lincoln survived. Looked like he was a goner there, innit? His acting was really good, actually. When he was on the floor, you know, he was having a seizure, and the phone was coming out of his mouth, and I thought his mate was actually going to come over and end it. And Clark actually read the room, do you know what I mean? She remembers hearing that, puts her hand in the way, gets a, um, whatever it was, a poison that he was about to put in his body and um you know she's managed to resuscitate him you know she's give him ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, staying alive staying alive like michael scott and uh yeah managed to bring him back now obviously it looked like it was going bad mate when uh the commander actually come up he sees their body on the floor again back into a standoff but you know abbe fought fast on her feet you know electrocute him what are them things that they put on them um defibrillate is it defib bang where they shocked him uh one of those and uh you know it took two of them but it actually worked and now he's back breathing his eyes wasn't red anymore do you know it was white he remembers who octavia was remember when he was in the car park he's like dribbling all out of his mouth and it was crazy no i thought it was that he had to flatline maybe you know they never really like full-on address what it was until the very end but it was what we said at the start it was cold turkey and you know what i mean the guy's been obviously given drugs and he's really wanting it really wanting it and then obviously like if you hold him for so long and it wears away you go back to normal but my question is how are the reapers that are just roaming and chilling in the jungle yeah the ones that are not actually like zombified do you know what i mean because like he was zombified you know he, he just wanted to eat them all i literally looked thought he was on the walking dead mate crawling all over the place chained up not all of the reapers are like that if you see the ones that when he was fighting in um what was what is it called we are the grounders part two is that the, the finale or something of the, the, the season one um Finn managed to get them and bring them all to the camp. Do you know what I mean? And he chased him and he stood there and he looked at them on the hill and he looked at them and then they started fighting themselves. You know what I mean? It was just like a proper scrap. And obviously, like I said, they're not zombified. They was all in control. They could talk. They knew what they was doing. What are they living off? They're not needing the drugs. Do you know what I mean? Like, what? what is the different types of reapers? Um, so again, I'd be interested with that one because that is a chink in the armour. It's, it's a flaw. Do you know what I mean? It's not not consistent if that makes sense like if we're being told that for reapers to be made by the mountain men that they're gonna have to be injected with these serums so to speak uh all this drug so that they could be controlled and then obviously they're gonna have to after today's episode basically lincoln would have to consistently be taking this drug wanting it so that he would stay in that form 
if he wasn't with that drug for a long period of time, he would revert back to his normal self, which obviously happened in today's episode, even though it did look like he was going to die uh, until she saved him. So again, I'm interested to see how that one goes. We didn't really see it any more about uh, the gas and obviously, um, you know, how that actually gets obviously pumped into the atmosphere. But we did see them actually go outside and say, look, mate, the 48, the 47, whatever it is, you know, it's been numbers have been changing all over the season. They're not actually going to work by just transferring the blood into everybody. They were saying, how many people did they say was down there? It was like 300 of them. Uh, basically, we take everybody and it'd be all of the bone marrow inside of them. We see that girl at the very end there getting me drilled into absolute savage and obviously she was screaming selling it really well it's gonna have to take all of them for them to survive now obviously as a, as a viewer watching it i don't want that to happen i think they're proper selfish but as a person if i was living in there i would be that selfish one and i've got all my hands up me i would be that selfish one if i was cage and i was that doctor and i uh, knew that i could do something to get on the outside like I said, mate, it's a dog eat dog world, and you've got to, you know, you've got to kill a few people to get to, to get where you want to go, mate. Not in real life, in a show, and obviously, like I said, in an apocalypse world, I would only be caring about my team. I would do so. My people inside Mount Weather, that's all I would ever care about. If any new people come, they would be getting used. They would be. Now, obviously, like I said, as a viewer, I don't like it. When that happens, I want them to get absolutely done over. And I would love that doctor to get killed by Jasper, mate. That would be good. Or Monty. One of them to actually, do you know what? I want Monty to kill him. We've seen Jasper get a few kills. You know, Monty's, uh, you know, he's been out there. He's been. Uh, been helping, but we never see him actually take somebody. We've seen Bellamy, we've seen obviously Octavia. Do you remember last episode, last season, mate, when she stabbed someone in the head? <laughs> that was mad, mate, when she saved Bellamy when he was fighting. Obviously, we've seen Clark and Finn do it. You know what I mean? Everybody's had it. And Murphy, absolute savage. But I don't think we see Monty kill anybody, and now it's his time. So if. If that's going to, you know, if if they're going to go down that avenue where they're going to try and get all of them, then there's going to be some sort of retaliation and it's going to be exciting to see because there's going to be a mad war at the end if they do hand over Finn and obviously get that piece between the Grounders and obviously the Ark. It's going to be interesting. So I can't wait to watch next episode. Hopefully they do hand over Finn and then obviously we get this mad rush and influx of like people, uh, you know, like raging war onto the Ark. And then obviously when the gas comes, because that's going to be their defense mechanism, How's everybody going to react and cope with it? It's going to be exciting to see. Thanks for checking out today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please smash like. It really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.